Hey guys, this is T from Driftwood Gaming and I'm here with another RPG Maker MZ The Basics tutorial. This time, we're going to learn all about the other graphical assets we haven't talked about yet. So let's start with Shadow One. This is a graphical asset that's found in your game project file under Images and System. So we'll talk about Shadow One and Shadow Two. These are used in battles. Let's take a look at them. Okay, as you can see, under the player and under the enemies, we have these shadows. So let's take a look at how to make these ourselves. So let's take a look at the actual images. This one is Shadow 1, and the dimensions of Shadow 1 are 48 by 48. And this is Shadow 2. The dimensions for this shadow is 82 by 38. Let's move on to the states sheet. We'll take a look at it here, since we're here already. Okay, this is our states sheet. The dimensions for this is 768 pixels by 960 pixels. Each one of these images fits into a grid that's 96 by 96 pixels. Let's see this in action too. Okay, notice that the image from the state sheet is playing on my character because my character has a state. So if you would like to modify your states, what they look like, you would modify the images on this sheet. Make sure you keep the same dimensions. Next, let's look at weapons sheet 1 and 2. Okay, here's weapons sheet 1 and weapons sheet 2. These ones are 576 pixels by 384 pixels. They're arranged in a 96 by 64 pixel grid. If you'd like to modify your weapons, then you would just change the images in here and make sure that they're arranged the same way. But also we have what's called weapons sheet three. This one is left mostly blank for you to be able to input your own weapon images if you'd like. So if you don't have many to add, you can use Weapons 3. If you'd like to add a lot, you could also modify Weapons 1 and Weapons 2. Now you'll notice that Weapons 3 has a bit of a different size. It is 288 pixels by 384 pixels, and it's also arranged with a 96 by 64 pixel grid. It has five extra rows for weapons of your choosing. These are the weapons that will show up in our battle while we fight this fox guy. Did you see that sword come out? That came from the weapons sheet. Next, let's take a look at the windows sheet. Notice this box of information. It has a nice frame and a little bit of a pattern on the inside, this button. Let's see how that's done next. Here's the PNG for the windows. This one is 192 pixels by 192 pixels. It has four sections of 96 by 96 pixels, and this bottom right section is divided even further. These two sections are 48 by 48, and these little sections down here are 12 by 12. There's 32 of them. These boxes here are your color index. So if you'd like to add colors to your window, you choose from these boxes based on their index. It starts at zero and goes up to 31. Next, let's take a look at face sets. Now we've done this before. When we added dialogue, we added people's face as well. You'll notice here is the princess's face. She's arranged on a sheet that has specific dimensions and a specific arrangement. Let's take a look at that. Here's the PNG for the face sets. You'll notice that there's four on top and four on bottom. The entire sheet is 576 pixels by 288 pixels. Each one of the sections for the faces is 144 by 144 pixels. Now let's take a look at pictures and enemies. I have a couple up here. Here's one of our girls. She's got fabulous purple hair. She can be displayed as a picture. Her image is stored in the picture folder. And then we also have enemies. This one is stored in the side view enemies folder, but I want to point something out. You have this picture here, this enemy, and then also this enemy. I'm sure you'll notice that there's quite the size difference. And that's because with pictures and enemies, you can choose any size you want. Of course, if you make it too big, it won't really show up on the screen. And if you make it too small, nobody will be able to see it. So. Definitely do it within reason. Next, we'll take a look at balloon icons. Here's the sheet the engine uses to pull an image for if we're using an icon above our character. We're gonna look at one of those in just a minute, but first let's talk about the size of this sheet. 
The dimensions are 384 pixels by 720 pixels, and it's arranged in squares of 48 by 48 pixels. There are five extra empty rows at the bottom so that you can add in designs of your own. Let's see what they look like. We can add one to our conversation with the princess. She's going to be very happy that we're talking to her. What a sweetheart. The next thing we're going to look at is a parallax image. This is a parallax image, and by default, the parallax in the system are 816 pixels by 816 pixels. However, you can make it any size that you want. Again, of course, if you make it too big, it might look silly, and if you make it too small, you might not be able to see it. So use your discretion when sizing your parallaxes. The next thing we'll look at is the buttons that show up in various places in your game, like your menus and in shops. We'll take a look at those first. So you can see one of the buttons here at the top. And then if we speak to the shopkeeper, we'll see a few more. Notice here along the bottom, we have a few buttons. These buttons can be changed as well, but make sure to use the same arrangement. This one's a little funny. The full size of the sheet is 528 pixels by 96 pixels, but you'll notice that they're arranged in differing grid sizes. These buttons, these smaller buttons here, are 48 by 48, but these bigger buttons here are 96 by 48. Next, let's take a look at the title screen. Here's an example of a title screen. They can only be one size. Their dimensions are 816 pixels by 624 pixels. This applies for both Title 1 and Title 2, which is the frame for your title screen. I'm going to show you where all these things are located in your game folder after I'm done going through the sizes. The next thing we'll talk about is Battlebacks. There's Battleback 1 and Battleback 2. One covers the bottom portion of the Battleback, and then the other covers the top portion. The dimensions of the battlebacks also can't be changed, and they're 1,000 by 740 pixels. Now let's look at the icon sheet. You'll notice that each square has a specific size, and that is 32 by 32 pixels. You can't change this size except for through a plugin, and if you do use a plugin to change the size, you won't be able to see it correctly in the editor. The icon set has a width of 512 pixels. As for the length, I don't know how big it can get. I've been doing some research, and the answers differ quite a bit. I would recommend that you don't go overboard with your icons. I've known some people to use thousands of them without an issue, but if you use too many, the engine will start to draw black boxes instead of images. And finally, the game over screen. Before we check out the game over screen though, I want to go into the game folder and show you the location of all the assets that I mentioned. So you're going to find your image assets in your game folder in this image folder. And you can find your battle backs in this folder and this folder. In here you'll find sprite sheets and characters and things like that, which we covered in a different tutorial. In here you'll find enemies that are for front view battle. And then your face sets are in the faces folder. Your parallaxes are in your parallax folder. And you'll find pictures in your pictures folder. This is for your side view actors and we covered that in a different tutorial, but here's side view enemies. And then in system, we find a lot of the images that we went over, the balloon, button, game over, icon set, the shadows, states, weapons, and window images. Then we have our tile sets in the tile set folder, which was something we went over in a different tutorial. And finally, our title images. Let's check out the game over screen. we died. That's beautiful. Okay. Well, with that, the game is over and so is the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, definitely come hang out with us on the Discord, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!